My name's Vinnie O'Connell and I'm the founder of the New Leaf Project here at West Sullivan's train station. Um, what we're going to do here is we're, we're going to make a, a new environmental education resource for, for local schools and for, indeed for the commuters getting on and off the trains every day. We're going to tell the story of the evolution of flowering plants in this area. Um, with the, the first flowering plants which are about 140 million years old according to the fossil record and then going through them family by family clade by clade and telling the story of the, uh, the individual plants if they've got any medicinal uses, any culinary value, if they've been mentioned in uh, folklore, like witchcraft, poetry, Harry Potter, whatever like that. Um, we, we're doing this job, this work here. Um, our work, workforce comes from Southwark Youth Offending Service. Uh, young people get in trouble with the law, on, usually for minor things, um, and they, they get um, a few hours community service. While they're here, we mentor them, we tell them about the project, we hopefully pique an interest in, in the environment and in, in plants and their place in the environment. Um, some have gone on to do quite well. Some, one's a tree surgeon now. Um, there's two or three that are working in, in museums and gardens in, in London. Um, there's um, quite a lot that are working in Southwark's parks and gardens and Lambeth's parks and gardens and, and have gone on to do courses in um, horticulture, agriculture, all that kind of stuff. Um, this is a mural that's been done by a young guy called Marlon Brown, a young West Indian guy from Brixton um, who came along here and said, I can draw a bit. Well, he certainly can. We had some money in the pot to commission an artwork on the wall and we commissioned Marlon to, to do the artwork. It depicts Carl Linnaeus, who was a Swedish botanist, uh, 18th century Swedish botanist, who came up with the uh, binomial system of nomenclature, which actually means that everything in, in nature has now got two names that is, are understood by everyone, um, every scientist and everyone in the world. So we're Homo sapiens, rat is Rattus norvaticus, a, a daisy is Bellis perennis, but you know, scientists from all around the world, don't matter what language you speak, all know the same organism is re being referred to. Um, so that, that's this wall. Um, there's some, some other very interesting stuff about this. Sorry, let me just think about that. There's some very interesting stuff about this wall. There's uh, this, this shape here, for instance, is photo 51. And it was a photograph that was taken with um, a process called X-ray crystallography. And, and it was taken by this lady here. Just come around here a minute. It was taken by this lady here. Her name's Rosalind Franklin. Um, she was a scientist who worked for the Colborne first off, but then she went to King's College London and she um, specialised in X-ray crystallography. The unfortunate thing about X-ray crystallography at the time is they didn't know that X-rays caused cancer and she contracted um, ovarian cancer and died um, from, a, from, from that.